This video demonstrates how to add repetition logic to a visual test within the Silk Test Workbench. I have created a sample visual test which demonstrates the entering of data into a basic web application. I will play back the visual test script. As you can see, it accepts the entering of data, which includes user details, address, city, state, zip, phone number, email address, and credit card details. Once the test is over, we go back to the visual test. In the visual test, we select the test step which is prefixed with the enter keyword. This indicates that the text was entered. We go to the properties pane, select the keys parameter, and this informs us of the data which was inputted during the test. In this case, it's 12 Main Street. We then go to the asset browser, active data, and open customer details, which is active data, which I previously created. If we go to the details tab of the active data, the column A represents the customer name, the column B represents the street name, C represents the city name, and so on. To add the actual repetition to the script, we go back to the visual test, right click on the first test step, go to insert test logic repetition. Here a wizard will open, we press next, choose the fifth redo button, right click select associate existing active data and choose the active data customer details. Press OK. We will start from the first row of data and end with the last row of data. We press next. We will start from the first do step and we will select the last test step within the visual test. Once we press OK, we can go next and hit finish. This will add repetition logic starting at the first test step stopping at the last test step within the visual test. Now that the repetition logic has been added, we need to populate the data from the data file into the visual test. We do this by selecting the customer details text field, selecting the eclipse button, active data, and selecting the first column within the customer details active data file. This will read data from the active data file. We do to select the next text field, Repeat the process and select column B this time. This is repeated throughout the test for, for all those text fields in which we want to populate from the active data file. Once your customization is complete, press the playback button and the visual test will execute. As you can see, Silk Test will now populate each text field within the web application with a row of data taken from the active data file. This is taken in sequential order. Now after the first execution of the visual test, Silk Test will continue iterating through each row of data in the active data file executing a single test case for each row of data within that active data file until all rows have been read. At the end of the test we can go to the results section, click the details tab and we can then see, compare the record with the replay and we can see that different usernames have been entered. This is verification that our test was successful.